Hi, I'm Jeannie Park, CEO of Compass Rose Video, and I'm delighted to have here today my guest, Mary Lou Kayser, who is the founder of the Kingfisher Group, and is also the host of the very well-known and popular podcast, Play Your Position. So first of all, thank you so much for coming and being here, Mary Lou. Well, thank you for having me, Jeannie. I'm happy to be here. And Mary Lou actually very recently interviewed me. I was honored to be a guest on her podcast, and it was, I have to say, so much fun, and you are such a great host. Oh, thank you. You were a great guest. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, Mutual Admiration Society. Yes. But um, I would love to hear a little bit about what was your inspiration behind creating this podcast? Well, I love audio and have since I was a child. It's my favorite way of learning. I grew up listening to my dad play record albums, grew up listening to radio, my own vinyl, and I've just always loved audio. And when podcasting had its resurgence in 2013, 2014, I was inspired by my podcasting mentor, John Lee Dumas, and decided, why not? Why not do a show? I love people. And I created a thematic show around my favorite sport, football. And so <laughs> when I have guests on, the conversation is driven by questions around a football game. And we're able to get some pretty awesome content and, and insights out from a variety of guests like yourself, Jeannie. Wonderful. And maybe you could talk a little bit about um, how widely spread and heard your podcast is and how you've gotten such a wide following. Sure. So my podcast is currently listened to in 75 countries. Wow. And honestly, how that happened is just word of mouth. I've done some marketing uh, through Twitter. Probably the best channel for me to get new listeners has been Twitter. Mm -hmm. And my guests have been great in sharing their episode with their audience. And then wherever I go, I make sure I let people know that I have a podcast and would love for them to become a loyal subscriber and get the great content I put out every week. That's amazing. And I'm a big fan of audio and podcasts and the written word. And I try to tell people, just because I'm the video gal, you don't have to just throw everything out and just do video. So I love that you're continuing to specialize in the audio. And you make great videos. You've been doing that for a while. We've worked together. And mm -hmm. I know through talking to you that you're planning on using some more video um, with your future marketing efforts for um, a different direction. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. So yeah, the DIY video scene I got involved in in probably 2010, I, I decided to just turn the camera on myself. I invested in one of those Kodak ZI8s. I don't know if you've <laughs> ever seen one of those little guys and made quite a bit of video and it is important what you're doing in, in showcasing people and teaching people about making videos. And then again, the power of the, the talking mm -hmm. that we do in front of a camera, it, it allows people to get to know you in a way nothing else does. In podcasting, you're in their ears and that's powerful. But when there's that visual piece and they can see the whole person and the nuances of your body language and your facial expressions and how you smile and exactly. how you laugh. And so you have inspired me to re-explore video again. I put it on the shelf because I was devoting so much time to my podcast, but I see that promoting my podcast is uh, top of mind and using video to do that is definitely part of what I'm doing. And I'm also a writing consultant, and a lot of people think, well, what does writing have to do with video? And I say everything. It's one thing to take your, your cell phone and turn it on yourself and do a quick shot, and those are fun. But if you're going to do a, a more formal campaign, you've got to plan it, and you've got to write it out and script it and think about what are the themes, what are the concepts, what are the mm -hmm. key ideas you want to hit. And so I intend to use some video campaigns to market my writing business here in the next three to five months. Perfect. And uh, do you want to say a little bit more about how you help people with your consulting through writing? What sure. specifically uh, do you like to work on with them? Well, right now I'm finishing up a year long project with a private client. Uh, I've actually ghost written her book and it's been an amazing experience and I'm so excited for that book to actually be real right. and in readers' hands. So that's one vertical in my writing consulting that I really, really love because I help somebody make a dream come true. And a good ghostwriting matches somebody who is 
really busy and may not have the time to devote to actually sitting down and putting a book together. It's all up in their head and they want to get it out, but they need the help. Or they may not have the, they may feel rusty when it comes to their writing skills and just want a trusted writer to capture the essence of them. I also create eBooks for people. I do web copy. I can create a PowerPoint presentation, which a lot, again, people think, oh, a PowerPoint, how hard is that? Actually, there's an art form to it, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of writing involved with that. So those are some examples of what I do. That's so wonderful, and services so many people that I know need. So what's the best way for people to get in touch with you so they can work with you? Well, you can go to my main site, which is maryloukaser.com, and it's K-A-Y-S-E-R. And if you want to check out my podcast, go to pyppodcast.com. And like I said, Jeannie's show is airing here pretty soon. I'm so excited. And I got a lot of other great guests as well. Take a listen, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you, it's Jeannie. It's always this a was joy awesome. to see you. Yeah. Thanks for watching.